Crow Fair, published in 2015, stands as a collection of short stories crafted by acclaimed American author Thomas McGuane. With its backdrop, primarily set in the vast landscapes of Montana, McGuane delves into the intricate web of familial discord and its enduring repercussions. Themes of paternal inadequacies and infidelity permeate the narrative, juxtaposed with moments of profound communion with nature. Critics lauded the compilation as a cunning assemblage of narratives by a modern virtuoso, as depicted by Kirkus Reviews. The inaugural tale, Weight Watcher, serves as a microcosm of the collection's thematic breadth. It commences with the narrator's father appearing unceremoniously on his doorstep, banished by the narrator's mother until he sheds pounds below a specified threshold. McGuain intricately weaves the strained relationship between father and son, exposing the father's past as a charismatic womanizer and a haunted Vietnam veteran. The narrative unfurls the father's vulnerability, juxtaposed against his former bravado, underscored by his reliance on self-help recordings. The narrator reflects on the profound scars inflicted by his parents' tumultuous dynamic, yearning for liberation from their shadows. In parallel, Hubcaps casts a spotlight on a young boy navigating the tumult of his alcoholic parents, leading him from innocent pursuits to darker escapades. McGuane's deft narrative strokes and Crow Fair unveil the complexity of human relationships and the enduring echoes of familial strife, all against the backdrop of Montana's rugged terrain. As the collection delves into the intricacies of married life, its characters remain haunted by the specters of childhood trauma. Adultery emerges as a recurring motif across several narratives. In Lake Story, a man engaged in a prolonged extramarital affair with a married woman fails to take adequate precautions to shield their rendezvous from prying eyes, leading to the exposure of their liaison and the realization of their tenuous bond. Similarly, On a Dirt Road unveils the clandestine affair of a wife, initially masked as a casual outing with friends for pizza, only to unravel in the presence of her unsuspecting husband. An old man who liked to fish unfolds against the backdrop of the disappearance of the eponymous elderly gentleman, leaving his dementia-afflicted wife to grapple with the belief that he absconded with another woman named Francine, culminating in a bitter revelation upon his demise. In the titular narrative, set amidst the Native American Crow Fair powwow, two siblings confront the revelation of their dying mother's infidelity. The casserole follows the disintegration of a marriage through the eyes of a husband who finds himself relegated to returning home from his in-law's ranch with a solitary lunch pail of casserole. Shaman delves into the repercussions of a police shooting on a homeless man, catalyzing the collapse of a marriage built on mutual caretaking. Other tales pivot around the fraught dynamics between fathers and sons, such as a long view to the West, chronicling a Native American rancher's final endeavor to instill familial heritage in his disinterested son and Canyon Ferry, where a divorced father's misguided attempt to bond with his son during a perilous ice-fishing trip nearly ends in tragedy. Meanwhile, the Good Samaritan sees rancher Sabo enlisting a mysterious replacement for his incarcerated son, embroiled in drug-related charges, marking yet another instance of paternal disappointment and familial rupture. In Grandma and Me, the protagonist, an alcoholic, grapples not with his father but with his visually impaired grandmother. During a riverside picnic, he witnesses a corpse floating downstream and impulsively leaves his grandmother behind to investigate. McGuane's exploration of familial dysfunction delves even deeper in some stories. The House of Sand Creek portrays a real estate attorney moving into a repossessed house with his new wife, adopted son, and the enigmatic babysitter, Bob. Tensions escalate, leading to Bob kidnapping the child. Upon the child's recovery, the adoptive parents relinquish their custody, leaving him with Bob. Other narratives feature protagonists navigating their own paths, albeit haunted by personal demons. In Stars, astronomer Jessica encounters a menacing man in the woods intent on killing a trapped wolf, disrupting her fragile equilibrium and triggering a sequence of events, culminating in a road rage incident and a confrontation with law enforcement. River Camp follows two brothers-in-law and their guide into the wilderness, exposing hidden truths about their marriages amid a collective loss of nerve. Motherlode tracks Dave, a skilled cattle inseminator, who falls under the sway of charismatic criminal Ray and his partner Morsel, leading him down the path of drug dealing, forsaking his inherent talents. Among McGuane's characters, only one achieves a semblance of success. Prairie Girl chronicles Mary Elizabeth's journey from a teenage worker at the Bud Hut brothel to becoming the president of the town bank, through a strategic marriage to the closeted son of a local figure. The tale concludes as she bids farewell to her son heading off to college. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.